All right, section five, overlapping similar triangles. Now with all the problems on this page, they work just like any plain old similar triangle problem, but they're all laying on top of each other and sometimes that can get confusing. So I wanted to do some special ones just like this that are all laying on top of each other so that we can get used to doing them. So the directions say find the missing side length and then write a similarity statement and the triangles in each pair are similar. So we don't have that question, they are similar. So for starters, I'm gonna find that um, side length there. So I'm gonna cross out that question mark and make it an X. And now I need to write a proportion. So I'm gonna start off with my X and we can kind of see here that there are two triangles, right? There's the smaller one here and then there's the bigger one. So X goes with the green triangle. So we need the corresponding side for the blue triangle. So it's going to be 12, right? And then I'm going to go over to the 15 and say, well, X is on the green triangle. 15 is on the green triangle. So I'm going to have 15 on top. And then on bottom, really, I need this side length. Don't let that five fool you. That five um, doesn't really matter with similar triangles. We could use that five to find the other piece, but that five itself does not matter. So really I need to say, well, this thing is 10 because the whole thing is 15. This part is five. So the other part should be 10, right? So I'm gonna say 15 over, over 10. Now we can solve. I can say, well, X equals 15 times 10 15 times 12, 12 over 10, which is the same thing as, I don't know, can I, I'll reduce the 15 and the 10, that turns into a 3 times 12 over 2. The 12 and the 2 can cancel to be 3 times 6, which is 18. So that missing side length is 18. Now for the similarity statement. So normally you just you just have to pick one of them to start off with. I'm going to pick the blue one to start with. So I'm going to say, well, for the similarity statement, I'm going to talk about triangle. And I'm going to start with U. U, and then I'll go counterclockwise C. And then what is this point there? That's a B. U, C, B. And I put the little similar symbol. And then triangle. And I started with U, and U overlaps in both of them. So I'll be able to just use U again. But then I need to start thinking about where do I go? Do I go with V or with W? So here I had C and C is right here. So I'm going to have to go with W. I'm going to have to go along that same side. So I'm going to have W and then left over I have V. So there we are. There's our two answers. All right, number two. Where is our X here? Our X is down here. Hmm. But like I said in the last one, this little five here, that doesn't really matter a whole lot for the similarity ratios. So what I'm gonna have to do here is I'm gonna have to introduce another variable. We'll put Y right there. So we will be able to find Y and then we'll be able to find X using Y. So we'll start off finding Y. So I'm gonna say Y over um, we'll do 18 here. Let me draw my triangles here. So I've got the green small triangle and I have the blue large triangle. All right. So Y is on the green one and then 18 is on the blue one. And then we could either decide to use the eight or the nine next. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to use the eight cause those are smaller numbers. So I'm going to have eight over 24. We solve for y and we say, well, y equals 8 times 18 over 24. This is the same thing as, I'll reduce my 18 and my 24, 8 times 9 over 12. I can reduce again, I'll take a 3 out of the 9 and the 12, 8 times 3 over 4. I can take a four out of the eight and the four and I get two times three, which is six. 
So what I got there is y equals 6. So I could rewrite that in here, y equals 6. Now we're still not done. We have to find our x. But if we look over here, x and y add up to be 18. So I could say, well, x plus y equals 18. And then I could say x plus 6 equals 18. And x equals 12. So there's our answer. Now for the similarity statement. Um, again, I'm going to start with a smaller triangle, and I'm going to use the I. That's up there at the point. So I'm going to say triangle I U T is similar to triangle. Um, well, I'm starting with an I. And then I use U here. So I need to go along that same side. I need to go along this side. And I'll say N. So I in and the last one left over is an M. So there we are. There's the answer to that one. All right, number three. All right, where's my X? Here's my X. All right, again, it's going to be one of those where I'm going to have to find Y and then I can find X. So we'll start off with Y. We'll say Y over, well, Y would correspond to 64. And then I need to go back to the small triangle. I'll use the 15 and the 40. So I can rewrite this as y equals 15 times 64 over 40. If I start reducing here, I've got, I don't know, um, I'll say 15 times 32 over 20. I'll take out a 5 out of the 15 and the 20, so I get 3 times 32 over 4, which is the same thing as 3 times, well, 32, I can take out a 2, and that gives me 16 over 2. I can take out another 2, good grief, 3 times 8, and that gives me, well, what is that? Good grief, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 24. Man, that took too long. All right. So what I said here is y equals 24. So here, I can put in here y equals 24. All right, I'm going to leave that on the page just for a second so that you can copy that down. All right, now just like last time, we can add up x and y adds up to 64. So I can say x plus y equals 64 x plus 24 equals 64, so x equals, what's that, 40? 40. And now for our similarity statement, I'm going to start off with the small triangle, and I'm going to start with that point W, so I'll say triangle W, and then I'll go with G, and then F. And again, the order of this first triangle doesn't really matter. It can be very arbitrary. The second triangle matters because you have to base it off the first. So W, G, F goes with W. Now G was up here, so I'm going to go with U. And then V. All right, that's that. All right, number three and, or, well, number four. State if the triangles in each pair are similar. And if so, state how you know they are similar, and then complete the similarity statement. All right, so number four. We look at number four and we say, well, there are no angles listed. Okay. So that means that we're going to hope that side, side, side works. So I'm going to put a little note here, side, 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 question mark. Maybe. All right. So I'll start off with this 21. I'll say 21 over, well, 35 would be its corresponding side, right? I can do this this side here, 24. I don't know, is that equal to 24 over 40? There's my 40. Let me erase those, make it a little bit easier to see. Oops. All right, so I did this side and I did this side. Now I need to do the 18. 18 over, 
Well, really, we need this whole side here. So I'm going to need to add the 18 and the 12 up, and that gives me, what is that, 20, 30, 30. So we need to see, are those equal? So I'm going to take my calculator, and I'm just going to reduce them really quick. So I get 3 fifths, 3 fifths. And I'm pretty certain that 18 over 30 is also 3 fifths. It is. So the, they are similar. So I'm going to say similar by SSS, by side, side, side. Now to finish our similarity ratio. Now this here is just like what we did in 1 through 3, except they've already written the first triangle, or they've already listed the first triangle for us. Um, yeah, so... We start off with Q, and Q is at the point, so it's going to be easy again, triangle Q. Then they say R, so R went along this line here. So I'm going to say, oh, what is that, L? And then the last one left over is M, right? Yeah, M. There we are. So really our answer is this thing here and this thing there. Now, whenever you go to show your work on these, you have to have this written. Okay? This isn't something you can do in your head. You need to write that down. Or even if you can do it in your head, I don't care. You need to write that down. Okay? All right, number five. Again, we don't have our angles, so we only have sides. Uh, let's go ahead, and I'm looking here. We don't have this side length, and we don't have this side length either. Let's find those really quick. Well, this whole side is 72, and this little piece is 45. So I can take 72 minus 45, and that gives me 27. On the other side, I do the same thing. I say 56 minus 35, and that gives me 21. So now I'm going to hope that I can use side, 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 question mark. And I'm going to write my, my fractions. So I'm going to start off with 21. 21 corresponds to 56, and then I'll do my 30, 30 and 80 correspond, and lastly, 27 and 72. So let me just highlight some of this so that we can see where I grabbed it from. 21 and 56 came from here and here. Um, 30 and 80 came from here and here. 27 and 72 came from here and here. So we can kind of see that they go, they're on the same sides of the triangle. So let's see if these can reduce. I'll say, well, 21 over 56 is 3 eighths. 30 over 80, I know is 3 eighths. And 27 over 72 is also 3 eighths. So it is similar by side, side, side. Now for our similarity statement, it says triangle LKJ. I'm just going to look at this. Here's LKJ. So my next thing is going to be triangle. Well, I have to start with L again. And I'll go with, well, it had K. K went along this side here. So I'm going to say U and then V. So here's part of our answer. And here's our other part of the answer. All right, that's that. Oh, one more thing. Now, if you if you are really confused on these, you are always welcome to draw a separate triangle, or you can draw two separate triangles, and you can label them like here's L, here's L, here's U, K, V, J. If that helps you, you're always welcome to do that. You don't have to do that though. Um, I think it, it takes a lot of time to do that, but sometimes whenever they get really confusing, it is helpful. So. There's that. All right. Goodbye for real now.